Uh, hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry talking about number of good leaves nodes pair. Uh, recently code contest, so you'll see me solve this live later. Um, but so this one is a tricky one. To, I think the the thing to notice is that distance is at most ten. So that um, along with this, which is a really awkward one thousand, uh, or I mean, I know it's a little bit over a thousand, um, allows you to brute force it uh, with if you remember the cache, uh, or at least that's what I did. Uh, but basically. So there was, so I did a really brute force, um, but as long as you cache or do something like that, I'll be okay. So basically, my uh, the, my solution is for every node, for for example, in this uh, full tree, I go okay. If one is the root, how many good pairs are there? If two is the root, how many good pairs are there? If three is the root, how many good pairs are there? And so forth. Um, and so that's this part of it of a poorly named function called go. Uh, and then for each one, I go, okay, so how many good pairs are there of distance? Um, so so the question pair here is, okay, so this is how many good pairs are there for, uh, for this node, node as the root. And this is for um, distance is equal to um, distance is uh, how many good pairs are there for this node node as the node uh, as the root with distance equal d right um, and then now if you do that then you know oh that you can also brute force okay if this distance is a fixed say two distance um, then that means that one has to be on, or uh, then th you could uh, brute force the number combination, which is you know zero node on the left, two on the right, distance wise, and one to one. So like kind of a balance, kind of ch check the number of nodes of that root. Uh, I also have a get leaves that check that takes the distance. Uh, so for every node for and every distance, it will get me the number of leaves that distance away. Uh, so this is the recurrence. Uh, take a look at it. Um, so the hard part about this, right, is try to figure out the complexity. So this is brute force. Uh, take a look at this, and you know you'll probably try to understand this a little bit. But um, so this is exactly, by the way, uh, how many leaves are exactly distance away from node, right? Um, yeah. And so the question is, how many? You know, this looks really expensive, really complex, right? So how, what is the complexity? Well, the complexity here is, well, get leaves. What is get leaves? Well, get leaves is O of 1 for each pair because it just, you know, does one or does two recursion, but O of 1 work, if you will. So O of 1 work per, per core. Uh, how many cores are there? There are no number of cores, so N for nodes and times some, you know, absolute value of distance, right? So that means that th this function, th the entire function in aggregate will do O of n times uh, absolute value of distance amount of work, right? Total work, uh, number of course, right? Here, okay, how many nodes are there? Well, of course, there are number of cores, uh, number of different cores, right? Um, but each one of them does, how many work does it do? Well, there's this for loop that goes, literally, your input distance, which is at most 10, and then this one also does an inner distance, right? So that means that each core does roughly uh, this time, right? Uh, work per core. So the total number of work here is n times distance uh, squared, right? Total work. Uh, so then this, complexity as a result is O of n times distance uh, squared plus n times distance, which of course just simplifies to the first part, right, because it gets dominated. Uh, and this works because, again, distance is 10 and n is 1,000, so it's about, you know, 100,000, right? So yeah, so that's uh, both the time and the space complexity because we store each, well, uh, Actually, now the space is actually only O times distance because it gets dominated by this, which is the number of cores. Because uh, here, the space is actually just O of n.
So uh, for each node. So yeah. Uh, so that's the complexity and analysis for this problem. Let me know what you think. This is a hard problem to, to kind of, you have to make sure you break down and really ask yourself for each function, what question are you really asking and then really analyze the situation. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and you can watch me solve this problem live now.
Oh my god. Well, slightly better. Thank you. 